math 2 standard 9 third topic triangle in which today we will see practice set 3.4 first example point a is the bisector of angle xyz ax2 cm what we have to find out is here now see point a is bisector is on the bisector of angle x y z x y z so point a is equidistant of side of angle x y z x y z so a x and a z are equal a x 2 cm therefore a z also 2 cm now second example we will see angle rst 56 degree pt perpendicular to st pr perpendicular to sr find segment pr congruent to segment pt find the measure of angle rsp RST P Now say PT perpendicular to ST PR perpendicular to SR Angle P Point P Is Equidistance From Side of Angle RST angle r s t therefore angle r s p is half of angle r s t angle r s t given 56 degree So, angle RSP came here 28 degree. Now, third example we will see. In triangle PQR, PQ is 10 cm, QR 12 cm, PR 8 cm. Find the greatest and smallest angle of the triangle.
PQ10, QR12 and PR8 cm. QR is greater than PQ is greater than PR. 12, 10, A. So, here bigger side is QR. QR is the biggest side. So, QR is biggest. So, angle P, QPR is the bigger, biggest angle. Q P R is the greatest angle. P R is the smallest side. Therefore, angle. PQR is the smallest angle. Now we will see question four. In triangle FAN, angle A eighty degree, angle A forty degree. Find the greatest. And the smallest side of the triangle. State the reason. A and F given forty and eighty degree. F given eighty degree. In triangle F A Y angle F. Plus angle A plus angle N equal to one eighty degree. Eighty plus forty plus angle N one eighty degree. Eighty plus forty one twenty degree plus angle N equal to one eighty degree. Plus after changing term subtraction. One eighty minus one twenty sixty degree angle N here came sixty degree so eighty degree is greater than sixty degree and smallest is forty degree so eighty angle F is greater than angle N. Is greater than angle A. Now see, angle F is greater, so in front of each side, A R is the greatest side. Angle F is the greatest angle. Therefore. A R is the greatest side. Angle A is the smallest angle. Therefore. In front of angle A, F N 
is the smallest side. Now, we will say question fifth. Prove that the equilateral triangle is equiannular. Given in triangle ABC, AB congruent to BC congruent to AC. What way to prove? Angle A congruent to angle B congruent to angle C to prove angle A congruent to B congruent to C proof. In triangle ABC. AB congruent to AC given so in front of that side angle are also congruent angle B congruent to angle C equation 1 side are congruent in front of that Side angle are also congruent. Then AB congruent to BC. So angle C and angle A are also congruent. From equation 1 and 2. Angle A congruent to angle B congruent to angle C. So, therefore, triangle ABC is an equiannular. Now, we will see next six question. Prove that if the bisector of angle BAC of, ang of triangle ABC is perpendicular to the side BC, then triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle.
given in triangle ABC the bisector of angle BAC of triangle ABC is perpendicular to the side BC so AD perpendicular to BC what we have to prove triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle proof now see in triangle ABC in triangle ABD and triangle ACD A C D angle B A D congruent angle C A D B A D is congruent to C A D because A D is perpendicular to B C angle side AD AD perpendicular to AD common side common side angle ADB congruent to angle ADC Ninety degree each. Therefore, triangle ABD congruent to triangle ACD by ASA pairs. Pairs. Then side AB congruent to side AC. CS CD corresponding side of congruent triangle. Therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Triangle.